Good morning and wishing you all a uh, good heart. My name is David Gittens and um, I've been known in many places of the world for my design creations uh, and innovation. What's been most important firstly has been insightfulness, invention, and then innovation. Having uh, come out of um, Bed-Stuy in Brooklyn, I feel that one of my greatest gifts has been the ability to work and create in many cultures around the world. The uh, things that excite me the most has been working with students called the Only Hearts Art Piece Process, which is all about giving students uh, a voice on how they see reconciliation and peacemaking in their communities. The inspiration for the Only Hearts Art Peace Project was 3,500 Sarasota students sharing their views on world peace. The project has been used internationally for over 20 years now. This is one of the cars that we share with faculty and students and parents in South Korea or in Argentina. The, the projects that I think have been most meaningful for me, it's a life journey, not a specific project. An example of that is what it really took to start a African named auto company in the UK back in the 1960s. Quite a while ago, it's an exercise of spirit in action, just on pure huspa, listening to spirit. The vehicle came into being in less than six months and was acclaimed at the Turin Auto Show in 1969. Example of a 165 mile an hour vehicle with closed circuit television and computerized parking back in the 1960s. Though the artifacts are in museums around the world, the aircraft is now in the Smithsonian. The Akenga wasn't about a car, it was about a process. We're in the effort was to make a statement that our culture can produce things of this magnitude. And that was then created once more with the Akenga aircraft, an effort to bring a uh, aircraft manufacturing product into third world cultures with manufacturing facilities in Brazil, in Namibia, in Europe, and in India. Because all of the ideas and the visions that I had over a period of uh, 60 years, I feel that we're in an incredible turning point, or let's say a point of critical mass and whether it's my generation or the generation of my grandchildren, how we use our creative energies, particularly in terms of ethics and a moral construct, determines to me our survival as a species. In terms of the creative journey is um, a quote from one of my favorite poets, Tagore. I leave no trace of wings in the air, but I am glad I've had my flight. 